everyone this is Amy welcome to my channel today I'm going to do a quick video on a already cleaned off glass wine bottle I this is my bottle that I used to do videos with but I'll wipe it clean once I'm done so this is gonna I guess that'd be a quick video today I'm going to be using two a magic flat brushes one is a number two and the other one is a four and then I'm going to use a one stroke uh, liner brush and a dotting stylus. Paint I'm using is all folk art paint, a combination of enamels and multi surface. I'm using Forest Moss, Thicket, Worker White, Bumblebee. Tea Berry, Burnt Umber, and Burnt Sienna. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. What I'm going to do is take my liner brush. This is going to be like doing a tree branch, basically. So I'm going to go ahead, dip my brush into the brown. This is the Burnt Umber. Stick it a little bit into the Burnt Sienna and some into the white, just like that going to start at the bottom. I'm going to press down and I'm just going to kind of wiggle it a little bit and aim towards the top of the bottle. I don't necessarily have to go completely up. And keep in mind, I will be washing this off, but if I were doing this to sell, I would actually do it all the way around the bottle. And I would just keep adding colors Dipping my brush into the different browns and the white. You could also use a warm white if you wanted to. And then I'm just going to branch off from it. Try to keep it all towards the front of the bottle if at all possible so I don't roll my bottle into the design. Because I'm pretty good at that one too. And I just try to do wiggly strokes. And crossing over a little bit. Now you don't have to use all these colors. You can stick with your browns if you want. I just like to add a couple of the different browns and some white in it just to give it so you can see and you know, give it some little pop there. If it gets too white for you, you know, you can go back over it. The thing of it is with using the white, you're actually giving your item, uh, making it more durable because your paint is actually going to be thicker on your bottle. And this is just, again, just a quick little video. I like to give you ideas of things that you can create. I like to provide some designs that are good for beginner painters. These are never anything real challenging. Yeah, I'm not saying for a beginner that there might be not maybe some aspects that are a little bit more difficult, but I'm trying really to make it to where it's, it's, it is something that's easy for you to do. And encourage creativity as well as something that will help, you know, with your daily life as far as with stress and that type of thing. And just light, light strokes that I'm doing with this, just kind of lining it up. And I can come out here a little bit, cross over, you know, just to make it more of a natural flow. This would be pretty too because on my bottles I do actually put lights in them. I do the style of lighting that is the like the quirk of the wine bottle type lights and they really really are pretty. And then I am going to be creating some wind chimes here shortly. And I can't wait on that. I love wind chimes. 
I think the older I get, the more I'm just really into things that are calming, you know, just laid back and just a calming, calming feeling. All right, so what I've done now, um, finished with that part. Again, very simple. I'm going to take my number four and just dip one side into the tea berry, one side into the white, the wicker white, and do my blending strokes. And I'll just keep adding paint. When you're doing this type of a project, the main thing is that you get good coverage. So on this design, I'm going to go up and out. So I'm going to come up, go up a little bit, and back in. So once again, I'm going to come up over here, kind of spray out a little bit, point, and then go out like that. If you find that you get too much paint on your brush, just wipe it off with a paper towel. But very simple. Make sure when you're, before you paint on a, any type of a glass project that you clean it. Of course, obviously with this type of project, you have to get the, the labels off. And then you make sure that you clean it with soap and water and that you go over it before you paint. You go over it with rubbing alcohol just to make sure that you got all of the, anything that's left over from maybe when you wipe it off or you dry it to any type of fingerprints that you might have on it any oils from your hands, that type of thing. And as far as laying out your flowers, I'm not putting these all completely all over the branches. But I'm going to try to space them out a little bit. Now, if they're, if they're too opaque, or I'm sorry, too transparent, you might want to go over these again if you feel like it's not thick enough coverage for you. Since I'm just doing this and I'm going to be wiping it back off, I'm not too concerned about that. And before you paint back over it, if you want to give it some drying time, you can do that. Or you can hit it with a hair dryer or a heat gun. Those are awesome too. I'm picking up a little bit of brown, or a lot of brown, looks like. And that happens. You can try to go over it to lighten it back up again if you want. That one kind of separated out a little bit for whatever reason. That can happen. And we'll just go like this. Pull back in. Do some layering. No, I keep getting a lot of brown in this. Just lightly touching it here. I mean, if you don't mind that it has some brown in it, then just leave it. It's not a big deal. And you can make this a four or five petal flower. This isn't really meant to be a specific flower. As you can see, it's just really simple. While you're watching this video, if you have any questions once the video is over, just put those questions down below the video. Um, all the products that I use, I do have affiliate links that I'll put uh, down below the video. So you're welcome to purchase product through those links. I hope you can see all this. And I think I'm going to go like this. 
It's just very simple. Now I'm going to leave some of those just kind of sticking through some of the branches. I will be putting some leaves on and if you follow my videos you know I love leaves. I can get a little heavy handed on the leaves. Alright so I'm going to leave it like that. Then what I'm going to do is do my dotting stylus. I'm just going to stick it into the bumblebee and come through here and just put just some really quick dots in the centers. If you want to use another color along with it to make it stand out more, you can do so. I'm just going to keep this one quick and simple. And leave it with just the one color. And then, last but not least, I'm going to put in some small little one-stroke leaves. And I'm just using a little bit of the thicket, a little bit of the forest moss, doing blending. If I want, I can add a little bit of yellow into it. Uh, basically, you know, up to up to you what how you want to do it. I like to kind of put some extra colors into my leaves, even white. Because like I said, on a bottle, it can be pretty transparent, and I like it to be more opaque. Have it come like that. And then I'll just come out here a little bit and just doing all real simple leaves. So these are good, a good way to fill in some of the empty spaces. You can leave some of the, the branches showing. It's not you know, entirely meant to cover, the, cover up all the branches. You don't have to do that. I'm going to just try to be light handed with the putting in the little little stems if at all possible. Again, just a very simple little project. Great gifts, unique gifts. And I just buy my bottle lights on uh, Amazon. Oops. I guess I'll just throw some out here. And you can even pull some extra little pulls coming out off of there if you want. Don't necessarily always have to have a leaf on it. It's just pretty, just very light and
little piece to brighten up your house, right? Almost finished, people. Thanks so much for sticking with me. I do appreciate you. And let's see here. I might have one going up this way. I just stand back and look at, at what you're doing and seeing spots that you might need to add. Add some more to it. I like my little branch down here. Oops, that's too thick. This one will just be very light. And if I want to come down a little bit here, like that. And I think that's pretty good. Now, like I said, just do some little swifty little pulls away. Just real light, nothing nothing crazy and there you have it I think that's pretty didn't take hardly any time at all to do and it's just a pretty piece that you can sit on a shelf add some lights to it sit in a bathroom use it as a night light ambiance light however you you see fit and if you like this video make sure you give me a big thumbs up new to my channel please make sure that you subscribe hit that notification bell as well before you leave please hit that share button that you'll find underneath this video help me grow my channel i would certainly appreciate that and until the next time please stay safe and healthy and you have a good one